We're live now. Here we are. We're live. We're live. We're alive. I'm Check alive? your pulses. Are we alive? Uh, yes. I need to turn down the video game because it is significantly louder than you guys, though. <clears throat> oh, 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 boy. Where are the audio options? Why are these not built into... They're not, bu they're not built into this? What? Into the options? Okay. Well, I guess I can just suffer. And the viewers <laughs> can just not hear you. What's up, guys? This is Heiss. And uh, we're looking at a very silly thing today. I feel emotionally dam emotional damage. You can, you can feel the emotional damage from here. Yeah. yeah. So, oh my goodness, that's just scary. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't get everything placed down. So context. Very good friend of the channel and frequent economy breaker. Midland Ten Seventy Two Productions made this version of the museum in Train Sim Classic. And has sent pictures, but this is my first time looking at it. And uh, so he did tell me because it's not publicly released yet, and he will be publicly releasing it, FYI. But because it's not publicly released yet, you have to place down all your own rolling stock. So I had to kind of try and place things, uh, and the game crashed like six times. So, um, yeah. So I we're here, up, though. Yeah, we're here, and uh, we don't have as populated of a museum as possible. But uh, we notably have, like three things that are accurately here or maybe four well i guess if you count the pile of dead gondolas i was gonna uh, say lots. we have the giant assortment of crap in the cut so yeah, that's something yeah we've got all, all the pile of gondolas over there we've got some more gondolas here some tank cars that are definitely narrow gauge right there of course um, oh, by the way i wanted to point out that um ezekiel <laughs> bow finally uh, got the uh 57 and 54 over. running uh <laughs> Oh, Ezekiel. Okay, well, Ezekiel said Midland made the museum, and I'm going to break the economy. So thank you, sir, as always. 20 membership, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, that's wonderful. Um, we don't have oh, that look, big of a loader. loader. When did we get that loader? Uh, that yeah, yeah. But that's a nicer Tim, loader. Don't complain. <laughs> Tim, Tim is no longer dead. Look, look, at all of Tim's stuff is here. It is. And look, it's the container for all 346's stuff. Yeah, it's there. It's not even there yet. Oh my god, look, they, he modeled my shed. <laughs> did he model the, like, half of a lawnmower inside of it? <laughs> no, he did not. But we got the turntable with all the stubs around it. Uh, we nice. don't... He did not texture uh, Happy Landings, Leighton Moreland 2019, on this <laughs> stub, but... On the rail. But here's one piece of equipment that's actually here. Hey! Hey, we know that one. I was scrolling through and I was like, I have that? I don't know why it's got pirate flags, but... Hoist Call the colors! Track. Why doesn't it have pirate flags? That's my question. So there's that. Um, and then I didn't bother to renumber it, but... We got the tunnel that's motor. And that's a much larger 280 than our standard gauge 280, but, you know, uh, stand in. It's also hey. on the other side of the tunnel motor. Oh god, do I have them backwards? I do, have, do have them backwards. backwards. <laughs> Nailed it. That's what I get but for trying to do it fast twice. Consolidation, so we're not mad about it. It's, it's there. He accurately modeled the lack of a diamond here. <laughs> it's, uh, it's very good. Well, you know, Mark. Well, you know, Mark. Yes, yeah, Midland. Yes, it does look familiar. You were the one that did it. The standard gauge ending He's at the right point. He's got the 10-foot wide bike path out front. Nice. Right? And, and, and the dirt is, lot across uh, the street. There, need, there needs to be one. there needs to be more empty needles and trash and bushes over here, but you know, close enough. Yeah. Does he have the stub where we used to have a siding? Uh, from the sniff, he's got some of the sniff line modeled, but he doesn't have the stub from it. No. Yeah. Your groom seems familiar. Like bushes. I've seen this before. Yes. <laughs> and someone Why joined the the brakeman. Thank you. Oh, Why isn't there you. multiplayer here so we can play whistle tag with the with the Gores line? Right. With the sniff. Night Fury King, happy birthday, belated. Um, and yes, I spawned in a big boy, which is what's causing us to lag because we didn't have a northern that I that fits, so I put the 844 down because we don't there have an 05, go. and uh, that fits vaguely. And then the big boy, so that's just what all the lag is about, but that's fine. Um, and then we have. Uh, a very old-looking thing in place of 191. Pay no attention to the wheel arrangement or the gauge. It's fine. Got a CNS passenger train over here. Nice. Uh, and so we could take that out and try that out on the loop when we won't feel like running things. Um, yeah. 
you know, just cars. The pavilion's modeled. It's uh, it less, is. less nice than our actual pavilion. It which is. is. Which is fun. Um, yeah. You've got standard gauge refrigerators. And then, um, yep, a lot of them. And then uh, here's some cursed stuff in here. So here's the MSTS port K27. Nice. Because uh, you can always dream, right? We right. can dream, man. And then, nice. uh, and then here's RGS21 that some idiot in Britain made and said it's an accurate model of a T19, and I regret paying money for it. That's, uh... The proportions are wrong. The sizes are wrong. It, the detailing it's sucks. Close. The, the, yeah. the lettering sucks. The tender's I'm wrong. It's a little bit it's, like, you know, oh, you know, you don't be mean to him or whatever about the model, no, but it's payware. No. Yeah, that's, it's that's payware, and it's fucking garbage. Sorry, no YouTube. Good. Don't Don't send this man money. <laughs> Everything. He made a Bachman big hauler. Yes, uh, it's well, it's not even that accurate, unfortunately. So, uh, so we could run the twenty-one if we feel like it, but I don't know how well the turntable works because I haven't tried it yet. Well, it'll work like our turntable. Hey, our turntable works very nice. Yeah, Brit Kit sucks. Enough said. Yes, Dan. Okay. Dan gets it. Dan knew what it was. No, no one's made a K-37 that works for the game, so no peaches. Uh, and the closest thing we have to Grandma is this uh, this B4D, which is not really that close. But, uh, you know... B4D's not! I am B4D. And uh, I'm already rolling down rolling. the hill trying to uh, just even barely get this thing going. Oh, God, it's just dark in here. Is the dynamo not working? It's very accurate. It's made by it's made by Stromboli. You can't see what you're doing. <laughs> the dynamo shit itself again. Again, what's and no one was surprised. Where's my independent brake train? Does this thing not have an independent? It's fine. Turn around. You're going the wrong way. Well, we were pointed the right direction. We were just rolling the wrong direction. It's fine. It's fine. We've only, you know. This is just a little bit scary how well this is done. Right, like yeah. I don't, I, I can't lean out the cab, but it's uh, God, you, just looking over and seeing the F units. <laughs> yeah, yep. that that now, that the does it. Shaking itself and ringing its own bell up the hill though, so it can't be three forty six. It can't be three forty six. When will we have the hey, cool What is the door on the diner open? <laughs> Shut the door on the diner. And and you don't need to open the throttle all the way to get up the hill, but that's train sim, so. Do you have to do, like, the little massage kind of happy notch nonsense across the top? No, I've still got the throttle wide open because this thing is just oh. sad, apparently. I see. Oh, but we've made it to the water tank, and now we're going to haul the mail. Woo! Yeet. Oh, friend. Let's see if we can find the happy notch where I have... Unlimited precision. According to uh, Bryson, according to Bryson Grondon, you can lean out of the cab by doing shift and two. Shift two. Oh yeah. Dusty says he wants a K27 in the round house too. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's not wrong. Okay, and. Um, and yes, Dusty, this is relaxing before pad. And we we set we set up the air. Are we setting up the air? I think we're setting up the air. Better figure it out if we are. That's fine. We're already halfway down the hill. Just hauling the mail. Uh, more, more air, more air, please. This is the more fastest air. I've ever gotten Phil, down the wake up. museum. Phil, wake up! <laughs> hey, the gate's already down. It's fine. And the dual That's gate weird the looking. <laughs> going, going through Jack's little salida, and lag begins as we stare at the two Union Pacific products <laughs> that <laughs> have no place <laughs> here. <laughs> Also, why are the passengers dressed like women from the 50s? They're on the wrong side of the fence, too. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta hit the cut with speed. Speed Charge! and power. Speed and power. Yeah, we're... It's, it's uh, accurately murdering the poor engine to death. Oh, God. Uh, I'm, I am TV, in the, yes, I am in the corner with the... It says I have 150 PSI on the gauge there. But... The menu says I haven't heard 135 PSI, and I've got the bar in the corner and the throttle's wide open. Something tells me that has literally never happened at the Colorado Railroad Museum. No. Casey says seven, by the way. Seven! Well, we gotta do seven laps now.
Oh, Dusty says seven as well. <laughs> Good. This, uh, this poor little thing is struggling with the train. It's not a good time. The actors want you to go slower, Mark. Oh god, now it's become too real. <laughs> That's too far. We, I've that gone too that far. was too far, That's yes. The line. I'm gonna die okay. now. Wear music, wear music, wear music. Mickley, Mickley silence. Silence. We're listening silence. to the shrieking of brake wheels, okay? Brake wheels? Brake shoes. Cooper, wait, this isn't the real Colorado Road Museum. You'd be shocked how I'm watching Mark stream in full screen, and there have been a couple of times where it's like, okay, I'm, I'm in my mind reaching for the brake handle and then snapping out Got, of it. Going, okay, oh, so right. I took I took a five pound set, and the train has just eaten me. So uh, someone Ezekiel. tells me the sim the sim is off. Ezekiel, another twenty Gifting memberships. Twenty made. subs or twenty memberships. Thank you. This is a this is a stream leak from Midland 1072. The route will be public after the end of the stream. So if you want to run on the well, Colorado Road Museum, made by Midland 1072, it's going to be on the Steam Workshop. And five pounds is still holding me back. God, we wish. Yeah, but you're With about to hit the roller coaster bit. Well, three you topped over the crossing. Yeet. Whee! Where are the shays? Uh, there's not a shay model in game that I could easily slap down. The, the what thing are you talking about, James? They're right over there, where they should be. They're over there. Pay no attention. All right, I'm on the crossing. Or I've got him. Okay, well, I'm just gonna whistle like Paul today. Apparently. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's fine. They buried the shades. Yes, yes, Jimmy. We buried the shades. They're gone. By the way, Jimmy, Dusty's friend from the Cog is here. Jimmy, Dusty's friend from the Cog. Dusty says this is lap two. Uh, we're doing 19 miles an hour, so I've gone faster than this with Fred. I've gone faster than this. You've gone faster than this on the pop car. I have. <laughs> All right, <laughs> but so not this, by much. Th this time, I'm just gonna we're just gonna give it the beans, because you know you gotta know how fast you can possibly go. Oh, hang also, on, I gotta get the voice right. Mainline through the Rockies asked, "When are we gonna run the shays and presumably restore them and run them on the museum line?" All right, let's see how fast we can go with the uh, with the bar decently hooked up, wide open throttle downhill, shall we? Oh, Yeet, full send, full send. CJ asks, "Where is Peaches?" Thank you for the dono, by the way. Thank you for the super chat. There is no good model of Peaches, so there is no Peaches. Oh, good God, we're doing we're doing thirty. We're doing yeah, thirty-three. Like I have not gone this fast. I have not gone this. This is terrifyingly fast around this, this loop. Is this now I'm getting different flashbacks. Ah, Fred like Gamer says, do terrible things. Reverse! Reverse! Thank you for the donation, sir. How are we still holding the rail, especially over the street that switches? <laughs> Good god. It's fine. Where is 5629 there? It is not modeled uh, in the game. Yeah, there it is. Uh, it got bigger drivers and became more black. Huh. The bigger, blacker edition? Yes. Uh, and I'm gonna be illegally. St oh, God, good God, this looks—it's doing 21 mile an hour right now. That's just so this fast. Looks good, though. It's okay, good don't noises. know what's coming next. It looks really good. You'd be—you would have gone off right there at that speed. <sighs> you got Whee! the gates down in time. Good man. <laughs> Somehow. As the train screams by at 33 Whee! mile an hour. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, this is very silly. I'm down for it. I, yeah, I'm here for these shenanigans. Song. Well, now we've got to derail it, right? <laughs> that we've got. That we're, we're very well dressed for this uh, this uh, museum outing. Also, there's not enough doing children. <laughs> just it's they're holding, holding imaginary children. pumpkins I can't hear anything but the flanges <laughs> well we hit the crossing at 38 and a half that time so we are increasing speed somehow Dusty said lap 3 learned to count Dusty that was Casey that said it was lap 2 so <laughs> bleh <laughs> 
teleport here on an area. He says, put her in the ditch. The model will be more accurate that way. Ooh, shots fired. She did roll onto this side. You're pacing road traffic now from Bryson. That's fine. So there is actually like a, so somebody just said engage wolf drive. There's actually a clip, like a, just a blooper from the original Star Trek of Scotty shoveling coal into the wolf drive, so. I am so glad. It is, it is in fact Dave Pitts' favorite Star Trek moment. <laughs> I have not heard of this before. Yes, I will try to find it. So it turns out if you hit the cut at 39 mile an hour, you only lose about six mile an hour on the way up. Oh, it's fine. Is there a tiny dusty, like desperately bailing coal into this thing to keep it? <laughs> well, I mean, you can see the fire. I mean, it's uh, it's pretty black, so you know. Yeah. How fast can we hit? Caleb Schmucker, welcome to the ESD Brakeman. Welcome. Don't you want to be Brakeman on this train? <laughs> yeah, 39 and a half mile an hour. So it's only like four times the speed limit. It's what? fine. <laughs> let's see about, let's uh, let's line us into the runaround. That, that ought to be spicy. Oh, it's not lined for the main though. Can I get it relined? No. no. I don't know if we have run through switches or not. Well, well we're about to find out. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah, that, uh, that runaround's not that nice. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, I mean, we're not gonna be able to bin this train this way, so I guess we'll... Put it into where the rider cars are. Yeah, put it, uh, knuckle it into the rider cars the, that At fast, 30. you know? That's fine. It's fine. It seems to have come to an equilibrium where it hits the crossing at about 39 and a half mile an hour. It's almost <laughs> out of water anyway, so it, it would have blown up already. Dan Euro slash Dan Gyro says, technically there's with no signs, there's no speed limit. There's no, supposed to be that's an not how that works. There's supposed to be a 15 mile an hour sign right there, but you know, it's fine. Which is weird, because that's not our speed limit either. Nope. Stomp's foot on the floor. <laughs> Yeet! Oh, that well, that was so very anticlimactic. I was hoping that we'd take out the Polar Express container. <laughs> All the Thomas decor dies with us. <laughs> Player train derailed. Well, uh, well like Kenosha. Well, that is very cool that the museum is a thing. Yeah, that is. It is very genuinely neat, and it's very horrifying. Also, but very I'm... genuinely has just crashed my game. Oh, well, that's cool. So uh, I'm gonna relaunch, and uh, we'll be <laughs> we right back. We were complaining that it didn't crash hard enough, and then it one up us. It did. That was so anticlimactic. Yeah, that was pretty anticlimactic. But you know, hey, we're still here for it. We did crash the train. We succeeded in that. Yeah, train sim is not great at about uh, not great about wrecking trains. Where's the earth shattering kaboom? <laughs> From oh, John Doe. Yeah. So can I? I don't know how I saved the scenario. Do we need to try the uh, the big boy meme that you yeah, described? Well, previously? naturally, naturally. <laughs> Alexander Norwood, where can I acquire this map? It is made by Midland. Yes, Mark. It's going. Yes, Midland 1072 Productions made it, and it will be uh, available after the stream is over on the Steam Workshop. So this is apparently a free roam scenario in which I can drive a K27. So I'm going to see what happens here. The official Rio Grande YouTube channel just posted Kill Big Boy, and I had to approve it because YouTube thought it was hate speech. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> okay, luckily it's got the save here, and uh, we've got... Okay, well, we've got a large lad right here. Large lad. Big boy. Miss the feed. Very bum. I can't find that clip, that uh, shoveling coal into the warp drive clip. It was all your imagination. No. We need to get the, the Stoker friend, the friend, going because we've got some. We got some places to be, folks. Oh, there's an automatic fireman. He's he's taking care of it. It's fine. And how fast do we want to hit the 28 degree curve with the big boy? Yes. Yes. 
I, I think we, we want to take it just nice and easy for the first time. We can we can eat it next oh, time. Okay. Are we, we actually gonna try and get off? around? I mean, um, I want to see how far I can get. Oh jeez. And you remember like that it's a big boy centered the on the three foot gauge. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> We need, like, a cartoon taffy sound effect right now. Right, okay. Let's close the cocks. <laughs> we said cats. <laughs> Mon on our official YouTube channel says, This map is really cool. They should oh. make it in real life. Okay, well, uh, that much 28 degree curve hurts, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The lead engine does not know what to do with it. So, um, we're going to hit it harder this time, made folks. It. Made it further than I thought you would. <laughs> I'm surprised it made the first bit of the turn at all. <laughs> I, am, I am too. It's a 28 degree bloody curve. <laughs> it it at you into speed, all right. The current uh, design for Union Pacific Standard is a seven degree curve, seven degrees, 30 minutes, is the turn back from the switch. So that's very, very tight. Big Boy is designed for a max of 20 degree, is what I've heard, so... Nice. This is 28. Oh, man. It, it don't do. That's just painful. It don't work. It hurts. <laughs> also, for Oh, good God. Could you, uh, could you re How is it making it further?! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit it with speed! <laughs> Full set! So, Mark, can you reinitialize the stream on our call on our end? Um, yeah, I lost me so lost it. But yeah. we're I'm watching on YouTube and you've made it up past the track sheds somehow. Yeah, I'm watching on YouTube and there's a bit of a oh yeah, I got I'm you. Like Thirty seconds behind here apparently. Speed and power! Oh god, we're gonna just nail that B4D with Do with it. this million pound thing. It's fine. This B4D is about to get knocked into next week. Okay. Don't worry, lady, we'll make it fit. Oh, poor little fella. That is very strange looking. It hit so hard it crashed the it game. It crashed the game! It hit so hard it crashed the game immediately. Oh, the game. <laughs> my god, you people. It just immediately... Yeah, my, my computer is soft-locked, actually. Oh, nice. How 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 little do they wish for us to see the, uh, these The stream uh, these is stuck things. on the image of the big boy, like, yeah. dink, touching just, the B4D. Just a little that dunk. Was, in, that was the moment the B4D knew that it fucked up. <laughs> no, that's when, like, Bob O'Reilly kicks in, you know, you're probably wondering how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Oy vey. And Mick Lee is once again asking for music. Yes, we can turn on music, Mickley. Okay. It's we fine. can give you your sweet, sweet banjo sounds. There you go. And yes, could could use a smidge less game volume. Yes, but the geniuses at DTG made it so that you can't uh, change the game volume when you're actually in the game. You can only change it from the first menu. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> well, Mick, my game only crashed now. People always think it's a fun thing to do to send me messages while I'm live streaming, and it's like, what did you expect? What did you expect me to do? I am literally live to hundreds of people on the internet. I'm not going to read I'm your message. I'm not reading your personal message right now. Th thank you. I appreciate the thought, but no, I'm not going to read your message at this time. Yeah, <clears throat> now is, yeah. Please leave a message after the swearing. Yeah. Yes. Gonna We're going to go just run somewhere. Oh, go around the loop. The loop is fun. Oh, we could run the loop, but I I spawn back in because I wanna I wanna try and wreck the big boy into the B4D again. Oh, okay, well, we wanna actually see it happen. I wanna see this happen. Now watch, we'll never make it around the circle in it again. Right. It's the content that people crave, though. <laughs> that it is. Somebody again getting flagged for hate speech about killing the big boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what it'll do. Means we're gonna highball through the yard. Well, we did that the other night and it worked out pretty well. 
dead. Oh, you got a beverage. All right, we did not get to uh, get fast enough out of that. Oh. Uh, womp womp. So you have to hit it with a certain degree of speed. Apparently, yes. Speed and power. But you gotta have the the cylinder cocks open. You also do. I also need to be like patting my head and rubbing my tummy and bouncing on one leg. Apparently, I don't have control so. over this locomotive right now, though. Oh. Well, that's nice. Oh. I can't run it. It's not, The buttons are not doing things. Presumably, it's got an AI engineer that's taken over somehow. <laughs> the AI engineer spawns in. And he's what? just like, no. Nope. He's like, no, we're not, we are not no. doing this. <laughs> no. You were relieved of your post. Your crimes against locomotives are no more. Well, they and don't your stolen goods are now forfeit. Let me try, uh, I'm gonna command the B4D. Okay, and I immediately get in, it immediately starts rolling away, it's fine. Yeah, I don't know why, but I cannot make the big boy do things. It is rolling on its own volition, I can't make it release the air or do anything. Oh. Huh. This is, uh, bizarre. This is madness! Madness. Well, can I run the... Why is the big boy blowing its whistle now? Uh, Are we going to run the tunnel motor into the B4D? Run the tunnel motor? I was going to try, but I can't run anything, apparently. They've they've <laughs> relinquished my license. We're going to restart again. <laughs> You've been stopped. Oh, hey, look, it crashed. Oh. oh. Well, well, shock. Must be a day that ends in Y. <laughs> yes. Heist is now playing Train Simulator. If you could believe it, yeah. Denied. Howdy, everybody. Hope everyone's doing good tonight. If you press restart, it locks night. cab controls for some reason. Thanks, main line. I guess that's uh, that's the thing. Joey the Cat asks, where do you get the UP280? Oh god, that came with the original Challenger pack, I think. Well, they came from, like, Schenectady. <laughs> in the video game, Leighton. Not in the real world. Also, uh, Peter did, in fact, find the clip of uh, coal being shoveled into the Enterprise's warp drive, so... I am glad... glad. Of course, of course Peter found it. Thank you, Peter. Well done. Good man. The OG RSC Challenger, it's no longer available, so you can't even get it. Womp womp. Alright, well now, we are in the big boy once again. Just get the throttle on the ceiling just to just get us going here. Yeah. Somebody asked, when is somebody going to make a big boy for Derail Valley? I mean, Me! No. Just no. <laughs> Me! Mark, win big boy. No. I've been talking with Greg about his next project, and I gave him some suggestions, so we'll see if he listens, but Big Boy was not on the table. Oh, God. The, the front engine set does not like that curve. It spasms very briefly, but then it sort of... <sighs> oh. Then it sort of derails. Yes. It's fine. Is it going? Uh, it was, until it wasn't. We got okay. really lucky that one time, Apparently. Apparently. And then the, the, game, the physics the hiccuped for long enough to give us one shot. All right. Do we want to try it one more time, or do or, or do we want to drive something else? I think the Clear Creek branch is calling us because this is clearly not working. Well, I mean, we could run the Clear Creek Clear Creek branch. That's always fun. I don't know how to make the turntable work. Can you run the big boy into the turntable pit? That that sounds like a shit post. That is a good name. Jimmy says must be a brass big boy. Pretty sure the River Rossi one would make that. <laughs> That's, that is the most accurate statement I've heard all day. Well, well done, Jimmy. <laughs> and then after that, it could cut up a pizza for you. You need to have an engine selected to use the turntable, apparently. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, you do. 
Oh god, and then it lines itself for you, and then you run it across the turntable into the hillside. It's Don't. fine. Death oh, yep, to Diesel we 4. We've just, we've just KO'd, yeah, 4 is exploded, and it's become a big boy. And the railroad has exploded, too. Did you it knock over? You didn't over. knock over the neighbor's fence, though, so that's commendable. that is good. That uh, the you insurance pull, company will be happy uh, about that. Guys, though, with the way. <clears throat> okay, so if we can get the uh, if we can select an engine and make things work, we might as well show off the twenty one so that we can all die collectively. Just run it, run it, uh, Leighton Moreland style. It doesn't have a clutch, though. <laughs> What, I mean, what, what, across, what is this Straight cab? across the table and into the embankment. Oh, what, is the, what, is, what is this everything? What is accurate. This That's what it is. It's accurate. I this hate all of this. This is payware. I paid like $10 is, for this. this is, Ezekiel is, says the yeah. challenger works better on the loop. I'm sure it the, does. Oh my goodness. Look at the quadrant for the, river, for the Johnson bar. It looks like a harp switch stand. It, really it looks does. like they just this stole is, that. Uh, yeah. I hate to say it, but this is like a cab you see in Gary's mod. Yeah. And this thing is running like the brakes are still on. Go go back into the cab. And it's got flying Scotsman sounds from MSTS. Oh, God. Oh god, the turntable is uh, not at the same height as the... That's eh, fine. <laughs> I felt... I did... I feel like I spent too much on this, too. The boiler is gigantic. The smoke box is gigantic. The headlight is wrong. The... the uh, there's one safety valve. The whistle's off-center. The cab is wrong. The number of windows in the cab is wrong. The tender is 16 feet too wide. The marker lights are totally wrong. The, the There's a giant toolbox on the back of the tender that doesn't exist. The cut lever's wrong. The coupler is wrong. The cab is wrong. The brake valves are wrong. There's no boiler running through the cab. All of this is wrong. There's too many goddamn gauges, and half of them don't mean anything. The water sight glass is telling us how much water is above the fucking boiler. <laughs> how much enough. water do we have? We don't have any water! Oh, it's reading the uh, the air pressure. Like, come on! Like what air, crap like is this? It's got, it's got a boiler tube have a coming out the front of the cab. It's for air pressure. Oh yeah, it's a manometer. Readings. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. So uh, don't uh, don't don't buy things from Brit Kits. It's terrible. Somebody, Ram it into somebody, something. Sold. Somebody in chat is called Michael Ramsey's transporter clone. And I'm not really sure what to make of that. He is not. Uh, he's not related to the Michael Ramsey we he's, know, as far he's as he's not I know. our Michael Ramsey. I don't he's know what I did the... to make the turntable mad, but it's uh, it's just spinning now. <laughs> we're just going. We're doing this. Like, okay, we're gonna go full James from Thomas the Tank Engine. We're just gonna spin until we die. I, I was gonna say just run off. It's like a Wheel of Fortune kind of thing. I've got the uh, the throttle wide open and the bar in reverse. Is it going to pick a track before it lets you? Okay, we're going to go try and mate into this UP caboose real quick. Man, they he really, like, went all Are out the on cylinders? these cylinders. Uh, <laughs> sure. There and it is. The game we come. Nope, the, the game didn't crash, just the, uh, just the train. Uh, we'll do one more shot at the museum. Uh, what, what do we want to do? And then, we, and then we could go to Clear Creek. What is the fastest piece of equipment you have? That is spawned in? It's, Ooh, maybe that 119. It might be the 119, or it might be the tunnel motor. Can Actually, it's probably the F... Around the circle? It's probably the F unit, but it's in the way. Uh, yeah, we could probably do that. We just need to, to do something with the train. Uh, so Crash <laughs> into it. Oh, well, also, I mean, the that, big that... boy might be in the way. Is the big boy yeah. in the fa- uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be close. What are All clearance right. points? 13 foot clear, it's oh, fine. God, this, uh, three, th th the, the triple gauge switch there, or the three, three way switch. That hurts this. my brain. We could park it on the turntable, but. And look at it, look at a museum, very. You live nearby, you need to come. A very, very nicely modeled locomotive instead. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. 
Well, this is what I, I paid twenty dollars for this locomotive. Standard. And, and guess you what? Don't feel as though you were chipped. I don't feel like I was ripped off. The very big Boyd. Thank you for the donut. He says I'm back. Yeah, baby. he's back. Thank you. So uh, we need to standard gauge the loop so we can run the 116 around it, right? Yes. I'm not mad about that, but I think James, um, who's in chat, might have something to say about that. But he's uh, not. Uh, he might not be here. So. He's gonna say, "Careful, we gotta oh. be." We've got to go easy about what we say, considering oh. the 683 thing. Oh. Yeah, so, um... Oh. Yeah. You gotta line the switches. <laughs> Oopsie! There are so many jokes that could be made right now. There are many, uh, and I choose to pick the dusty line to the switch joke. <laughs> and... Not not, and, the, not the hamster. And Train Sim told me that it didn't like me making fun of Dusty <laughs> because <laughs> it, it crashed yeah. once again. Well, I guess we're done with that. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll try it one last time when it relaunches here. Jimmy Limes. Lime, How many limes crashes for Jimmy. are we up to? I don't know, but it's Nutty. a significant amount. <laughs> YouTube is telling you that the bitrate of the stream is too low. I thought I had my stream bitrate set up higher. Stream, stream looks fine. Looks fine? Yeah, it's okay. not It's not tearing or anything. Well, that's good. <laughs> Jimmy asks if we can use the lime that went up Layton's nose. <laughs> uh, yeah, good God. I need to, uh, I need to get to that point in the edit. So we, we filmed more of the three quarters of an idiot show yesterday at the museum. And the, the, the highlight moment that I can recall off the top of my head, because it's very much a blur when you're in the throes of these games. The highlight moment I can recall is Brett just clocking Layton in the face with the lime. It was violent. Acc accidentally. I might <laughs> accidentally it hurts a little bit. But, but I don't doubt but, that. It oh. was really a lot. <laughs> He just you hit it violence, so dude. hard. I just managed to flick it really aggressively. Look, Khan's here. No, I did not buy all eight thousand dollars worth of DLC for this game, and it's not eight thousand dollars. It's like ten billion thousand million dollars, I think, if we're being real. But... Yep, that's the number. One million dollars. One million. Yeah. Okay. Let's liner liner root out first, and then and then we'll try and. See if we can't eat the 116 around the loop. Also, Dusty says the game crashing is what you get for making fun of him. <laughs> well, that's fair. <laughs> the, the train crashing is what he gets for lining the switch wrong? Oh, it didn't crash. Damn. But, it's a very uh, big boy asks, how much will it take to get a sticker with my name gives you the knuckles on the one of, on the, one of the train knuckles at the museum? Uh, stickers on couplers is usually a no-no because we don't like we don't even paint the couplers so that we can keep them ready for crack identification. Yeah. That's a fun idea, but I don't know if that's realistically something that we can accommodate as a fun joke. Otherwise, yeah. I would. Yeah, I appreciate the shit post. Yeah, appreciate the shit post, but like safety first. Indeed. The stupid thing, if you guys, oh god, we just saw by the big boy, it's fine. For it's for you two, who probably haven't seen these engines in this game that much, the funny thing about them is he modeled the Johnson bar being a pain in the butt by if you touch it when the throttle's decently open, it just goes bang into the corner. <laughs> and then you have yeah, to but it doesn't give you it doesn't give you the experience of trying to throw you through the front door. No, it, it doesn't, but that's the best you can do. So if you actually if you actually need to hook it up, you have to shut the throttle to do it or shut it pretty far back, which is right. kind of frustrating. But yeah, like I, I mean, I get it from a sim standpoint because yes, with the throttle open decently, you can still adjust the bar, but it's you know you just, just have to do it quickly. Two two hands do it quickly, and uh, you don't uh, you don't joke around with it. So you go, especially if you're going down, you go one notch at a time, just clunk. Clunk, yep. clunk. You smack the paw or the the little lever latch, yeah. and then let it go one click at a time. You, you unlatch it, and it will move itself forward rather aggressively. 
Oh, the very big boy it says on a non-used one, like a little Easter egg. Um, well, and that, that gets into display equipment, and and then it's like, okay, well, it's not my YouTube, like, domain for me to do whatever I want. You know, it's it's a real museum, so, I don't know, it's a challenge. How, how many uh, units of speed are we up to now? Not Plenty. many. 16. <laughs> we've, we've almost run it out of boiler pressure, but we're about to make contact. Contact! Dunk! Oh god, it derailed all the boxcars next door and made all the big boys <laughs> blow their whistles. I'm not sure what happened there. What? Why are all the trains now blowing their whistles? <laughs> I don't know what happened there. But uh, all I do know is that I want to go quick drive and I want to go to Clear Creek Narrow Gauge. I want to start in Golden and I want to end up at Silver Plume and I want to... Um, let's see. Hmm. Do, 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 do. I think I want to grab the... Well, we like Pacific. That's clearly the right answer. The yeah. UPFEF3? Yeah? yeah? Sure. With 16 Why cars not? behind it? Sure. That sounds Why not? stupid. Got two uh, donos from the very big boy. I respect that. Also, here's your cup. Yeah, we needed the cup. Thank you. Yep. And Rescue's Greyhound says, can I get my name on a sticker under a tender or on a piece of coal? Maybe on a piece of coal. On, on Under a tender, I don't know. But on under a piece of coal? Yeah, we could we could do that. Or on a piece of coal, for sure. Yeah. Coal is very doable. And Ezekiel, good God. All right, 20 uh, more memberships, Jiminy Christmas. So uh, here we are with it's the 844. It's only Monday, man. Here we are with the 844 in Golden, uh, nice. and we're on the three-foot gauge Clear, Clear, Clear Creek line. And had we been, uh, you know, continuing on with the museum, uh, the museum would be over, like, Hearsville. Yeah. They don't have quite – it would be vaguely on this hill somewhere. And so this is where the old golden roundhouse and everything was and the old depot. Yeah. The depot foundation is actually still there, which is really cool. Isn't it in this map? It should be over here-ish, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, this is where the freeway is now. Or wait, I'm behind. I'm not watching live, geez. Yeah, yeah. watch on the... I've still got the Discord stream up, so... Yeah, yeah. I, I just pulled it up. I completely lost track. Currently, our train is across the street from El Dorado. <laughs> Yeah, currently it is. Yeah, El Dorado, the Mexican restaurant, would be right there. So still haven't gone there for the uh, the giant tube of margarita. But the Tower of Violence. Yeah, we need to do that. Angry. Let's kick the kick the brake off. There we go. Put the power reverse. I appreciate in the forwards. bucket. The bucket of sand. Yeah. Do I have an auto farming on, or am I? No, I do have an auto farming on. Okay, we'll let him do that. I'm very disappointed that the auto fireman isn't a, isn't the uh, inflatable autopilot from airplane. Right. Just in overalls instead. The very big boy in FYA, you're in the Discord. We could get the role. It could be cool. I don't know what role you mean. Uh, if you mean it's related to your membership on the channel, you need to um, set that up on your own uh, by linking your YouTube to your Discord. And then Spagel Smagel, when could we see the CRM map on the workshop? As soon as Midland makes it live. And Lawrence Cass, you went to 51, 50 or 51 in game. Yes, I would love to see those in game. So, anyway. Colorado Railroad Museum says, who the hell thought this was a good idea? I'm not <laughs> sure if that's Matt or a spoof account. That, that is Matt. That is actually Hello, Matt. Matt. Yes. Very reasonable answer. Or response. The northern well wouldn't fit around the loop, so we are running it with 16 cars up uh, up to Silver Plume now. Yo, wacky inflatable tube man firing model when? Yeah, seriously. He's firing wacky now. Wacky waving, aren't inflatable tube man? He's firing now, and I've got the throttle on the ceiling, so the throttle is literally on the ceiling. Brakes released. Brakes released. Jacob Soros, five dollars. Large lad on the train set. When? Oh, uh, we tried it, Jake, several times. It did not work. Doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. We got it all. We got it around the loop once, and then it crashed the game. 
We're not on that much of a grade. Why is the 844 struggling with this? I mean, yes, it's 16 cars, but. You feed it some more bar until the fireman starts dying, I suppose. Well, he's, an oil, he's oil firing, so. Just open the valve further, bro. More oil, more steam. Shovel the oil. It's 16 guards, Jeff, you gotta put it in For those okay. playing at home, Jeff says, no stickers on anything, please. We don't want to encourage any type of defacing museum artifacts, which is a good point. That's... Don't be the people that go to museums and write on things in the dirt. It is Yeah, thousand percent. That's that's precisely what we're getting at. Yeah, that's, that's not cool, bro. It's it's a museum. It's not a playground. Like, precisely. treat the artifacts with respect, and, and yes, it would be fun to make memes and everything, but, like, it's not the time and place for it. That, it that's why we joke on YouTube. It's also really frustrating for the people who work on the equipment to come in, you know, oh, we're doing all this wonderful thing, and somebody scraped a pentagram into the fresh paint. Yep. Great. We yeah, had... someone, God's, if, I know where Brett's going. <laughs> I, I'm not going to say what it was, but somebody, Mark knows. Yeah, somebody defaced the Somebody wrote something 50. political yeah. into a car that we had just painted, and it was beautiful, and they wrote in our paint, and it is still kind of smudged into it, and it pisses me off. That was a really easy way to make all of us really mad. So please Matt, don't do Matt that. Matt said he was wiping obscenities off of the 96 car earlier today. That's uh, one of uh, those things, unfortunately. Yeah, part of the problem is it doesn't ever actually come off. It sort of... If you scratch something scratch into paint, you... like Not even scratch, but if you rub something into paint, yeah, it defaces the paint in such a way that you'll never get that sheen on it again. Yeah, anybody who's been to Road Museum of PA, they have a GG1 outside that has been, I mean, really defaced is the word for it. They have had so many people write all over it. it it's totally, the paint job is completely ruined. The only hope for that engine is it needs to be completely sanded down and painted again. Right. Diamond the Gamer, you've Jake, been a member for a Jacob month. Jacob Soros wants to hear that story later. <laughs> oh, we can oblige him. The very big boy, you once tried to make a train VR game, but I stopped because there would be not a point. You just crash and blow everything up, so you stopped. That's fair. It's the fun of uh, playing Deer All Valley in VR. Oh gosh, they even have the little like canal on the far side of the the creek, the little like flume. Yeah, yeah that isn't that cute? That is cool. Have you not seen this route at all? It's actually pretty. I neat. have not. Oh, it's actually I, pretty I've neat. I've been up Clear Creek plenty of times, but never on a train. Never, yeah, I mean, this is where US 6 is. I mean, you can't run a train on it anymore. But. CMDR Spooper says, if it wasn't clear it was joking, or no, that was a different thing, never mind. Yeah. This is going surprisingly well so far. There is one curve up later that I know the 844 struggles with. Here in with. Cable Bridge. Oh, geez. Yeah. Jake, Jake just gave a bunch of memberships. Yeah, yeah Jake just gifted 10 memberships. Thanks, man. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to be a daring individual, and I'm going to run and go pee and just leave the train. So uh, you've oh got boy, the floor, gents. Be interesting. Well, you've got the floor. What do we do with this it? This is where we start talking smack about him behind his back, right? Oh, he is such a delightful dining companion. Ugh, Man, uh, can't stand to be without his company for too long. It's just yags. My God, that man can tell a witty anecdote. You know, and we're not being assholes. We're really not that entertaining, are we? <laughs> Yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> yeah. We got a admit, super chat from CJ Carthy. Send a heavy standard gauge up over that narrow gauge bridge. What about a K-37 in the game? We would love a K-37. Oh, game, God, yeah. Unfortunately, nobody has done that yet. No. Midland gifting 20 memberships. You must be stopped, you madman. It's a Monday <laughs> night. <laughs> you delightfully kind madman. You delightfully kind madman. Perhaps remember for six months as ESD engineer. Welcome. Yeah. Your fancy lantern and everything. Also, we're slowing down here. We're but the we're, we're struggling down. with the hill. We're on the struggle bus a little bit. It's a very big void. Um, how much would it take for you to make a short of you throwing a piece of paper with my name on it into the fire? I think that's a question for Mark. Um, oh, good God. Yeah. We've uh, we've hit some struggles here, I see. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, and the chat is exploding. And Dark Flame Gaming just gifted 50 memberships. Good Thank God. you, sir. You are a delightful human being. 
Again, it is a Monday night, people. <laughs> Ezekiel with another 20. Oh my goodness, everybody. <laughs> You're Mad Men and you must be stuck. I, ho I hope the memberships help me catch the rail here. Good God, I need sand. We're going to have to make more members content. Jeez. Someone channel Shaq. Sand, give it sand. Sand, easy on the throttle. Dude, I've got it wide open. Random, random fast reader says I'll be in Colorado tomorrow, but somehow I don't think a, semi, a 75 foot big rig would fit in the parking lot. That's why we've got a dirt lot across the street. Yeah, this is, yeah, out, yeah. This space getting for back out of the dirt lot might be a trick. Yeah, but dude, I've literally got this thing wide open at full pressure with the bar all the way forward. What are we going up? A 10% grade? Spiggle Spiggle says he'd love to see the CNTS. That would be awesome. CNTS, We're going to cut off some cars. There goes the economy indeed. Are we just going to slide back to Golden now? Apparently. Is this what we're doing? Is the School of Mines in the map? I don't know, actually. I don't think so. I remember looking. It's a very big boy with a $2 super chat. He was asking earlier how much it would take to, to throw a piece of paper with his name into a firebox. Um, he's donated enough this stream. I mean, I I will be happy to uh, toss his name in the firebox. That's that's very easily done. <laughs> and and pass paspche. I don't know how to pronounce that. Pap Oh no, that's pass. Yeah, the S is before the P. I don't know. Uh, also gifted twenty memberships. Good. Good God, everybody! Thank you, you so you much. You left, and the chat exploded. Everyone was like, "Quick, while he's gone!" Break Seriously. the economy. Leighton and I were doing the, you know, well, nice weather we're having today bit, and then it just all went downhill. Oh, God. Chris Kelling just said, inscribe my initials on some sand that's going into the sand belt. <laughs> uh, so, well, Chris, sand, we can do that. Sand Some, and somebody, the sands of time. Somebody write everything down that I need to do, and then uh, we'll get Jeez. to it. Uh, do you need me to, uh, do you want me to do that, Brad, or do you want to do that? Uh, I'll let you do that. I'll keep up with the chat. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Go! 844! What are you the... doing? You're only holding back Kevin, a couple cars. Kevin Beverly says, Layton? Yes, what did I do? I, I don't know. There. That's, what, that's all anything. he said. That's all he said was Layton? You can't prove He's... anything. I wasn't Go. there. I have an alibi. Go, Trey! You your name right. I mean, I appreciate that. We're officially hauling three head-end cars and three coaches. Rescues Greyhounds asked, also, can I sponsor an oily rag? I want to start the fire. Yes, you can. I mean, Gladly. oily rags Thank are you. fun. The best thing to start the fire ever has been, Mark. Uh, tequila or the picture that uh, Christian Sluter sent? <laughs> I was going to say the tortilla, but... Oh, Dusty did have the tortilla. That's pretty good. I had a, I, I a found I found my video of starting the engine off on a tequila soaked rag, uh, and I may or may not be able to post it for reasons. Uh, so you know it's yeah. fine. But that was the Drago thing that happened. Drago just gifted fifty more memberships. Oh my goodness, guys! Uh, Jake, this stream is in a private call, but we can put you in it because you're Jake. How how long are we wanting to go? Uh, however long. It's a Jake. It's a Jake. Hey, Hello. dude. Jake. How's it going, guys? Doing good, man. Um, Discord, for some reason, is looking at my camera, which it doesn't need to look at. What? What? What is this curve about? Did he? Did Dark Flame just do another 50? Oh, God, yep. he did. Oh, gracious. Ah, okay. Well, I, ice economy be like, Hang on, yes. hang on, hang on. I need to, I need to grab out... Oh my Patrick god. Patrick Sheary just donated a hundred dollars. I need Hi, Mark to and this is great fun. This is chaos is <laughs> this what is this chaos. is. Chaos. This is chaos my and my, my my stream deck is not on the right profile and the thing won't load up so I can't show you my face. Hang on. I have to I do it can't manually. read the chat. There's so <laughs> many donations. <laughs> this is ridiculous, guys. I don't even know what, what to say to you all. I thank you, everyone. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Patrick <laughs> Sheary. Dark Flame. Uh God. Can you get your name on some water? That's a little challenging. And Draco <laughs> plays. I'm like, good guys. God, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But, but Henry James you. says, "Holy Molly." 
Uh, yeah, uh, G's man says that if you hold shift while blowing the whistle, you can feather it. So, that is something that is very interesting to know. He also gives $5, so thank you very much, G's man. I don't think that works on the 844. I think it works on the newer ones. Quickly spamming they were green. <laughs> Just to, Dude. just to add to the chaos, thank you, Mick. I would like to point out that yes, they were in fact green. I have, fact I have green. this thing pinned in forward again, wide open, far all the way forward, and it just does not want to make even can, six Can you cars. make it? Can you make it light engine? I don't know. Let's also, see. Also, uh, Boomario gives you five dollars and says, "Keep up the good work." Well, thank you, Boomario. Boomario is one of the uh, the close folks. 554 wow. people watching and 170 likes. Oh yeah, we need we need some more likes, foles We're actually up to 198 oh, likes. So Push we're up. Thumbs. Ding the bell, do the thing! Jake says K37s were converted. Jake, we need you to get to our punch Jake. in the face, folk, folks. What the hell? Oh my god. God, dear boy. $200 because I missed a stream or two. Love everything you do, Heist. And just for you, John dear boy, I'm glad you like the correct brand of tracker. I hope <laughs> Jeff is still watching. John Deere boy, thank you so much, man. He's he is a regular donator to the channel, and I've I have been remiss in not paint penting or paint penning the uh, microphones that we got yet. There's not a whole lot of space on the transmitters, but uh, he's when I said, oh yeah, we need the uh, we need something to get those done. He was like, oh yeah, well here's a hundred bucks, I'll sponsor one. And it was like, oh, so. I've got even light with... engine. I we're we're done right here. What is Dark it? Dark has it, donated it, another twenty dollars and says he will make you feel wholesome tonight, and I'm a little scared. <laughs> I is think he gonna we... like tuck you into bed and give you milk and cookies. We we need oh, yeah, we man. need a different engine for this. Hang on. <laughs> also, really, the eight forty four wasn't a great option to make no, it up clear creek. It really wasn't. Oh no! Oh, no. Consequences of our actions. <laughs> Does uh, what, this game what we... simulate the driver's binding or something? Uh, uh, I don't know, it because it's just not having it. Do we well, want to... Uh... Midland 1072 gives another $5. Midland. Um, and says that the route has been made public. Uh, there it is! You can run, run the on the museum. Colorado Road Museum. I'm yeah, going to grab the and Challenger. Joshua, and Joshua Knight gives $5 and asks if there is enough space for the fireman to shovel coal on a deckless engine. Oh, pl uh, I mean... Actually, I would say plenty, but so like say yes, plenty. yes and no. I mean, it's really a no. There's really not the the first I mean, time the first time I fired a deckless engine after firing a K36, I rammed my hand violently into the back of the tender. Um, both of my tr uh, I'm my train is going two directions at once right now as it spawns in. The slack is all rolling two ways. This is bad. You're Jeff running a lethal block. Okay. Jeff, half, Jeff has a YouTube. Yes, he's Mr. RGS41, apparently, or something. Oh, no, that's right. That. He does have a YouTube. I didn't realize he actually well, paid attention to what I was doing, though. <laughs> I don't know that he's logged into it in a very long time, but he, he commented on the stream just to refute my claim about John Deere being the superior tractor brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is um, the level we go to, people. This is what we're here for. But before also, before we carry on... another $2. Good God. Before we carry on with this train, um, I do need to actually acknowledge some of these folks in, in a more paused, substantial way. So yes. uh, <laughs> let me get back up you here. Jump go, your... camera? Uh, yes, let me do that, too. Show them One your face. Segundo. Show them your face. Hey, there I am in, in full 4K glory, actually. I realized that Logitech made a 4K webcam, so I picked that up the other day. So I should look extra pretty or something. I don't know. Or extra ugly. It depends on. Anyway, John Deere Boy, like, seriously, I don't even know what to say to you every time. Thank you so much. Uh, Stressburg Railfriend 90 during and after Day Out with Thomas. You've seen the travel badge stickers on both Thomas and the cars. Yeah, it's not fun to deal with. Sam Williams, this is nuts. Your HO 844 does the same thing. Not surprised. Big wheels, long wheelbase struggles. Midland 1072, yes. Roots Public, go check it out on Steam Workshop. Dark Flame Gaming, you will make me feel wholesome tonight. You already have. Joshua Knight, uh, with the space on the, the deckless engines. Yeah, literally the first time after I finished uh, firing Cumbrace and Toltec. First thing I did was I picked up the scoop on 346 and just rammed my hand into the tender doors. Went, oh, right. So actually, you usually stand facing backwards for me. I face backwards with my back towards the cab, and I kind of fling the coal around me so that I can get a longer wind-up without 
ending up hitting the doors. So it's a little bit nicer when the doors are open on the tender I was gonna itself. Say, run but... with the top doors open whenever possible. Yeah, that's that's the real answer. Yeah, for sure. So. But also, I feel like that's heavily influenced by is the fireman my size or Brett's size? No, it's not like actually. No, that? it doesn't you would make think it. That it's not. It's just small for everyone. <laughs> yeah, Jake. The the thing is. Okay, but Brett's a whole foot taller than me. It doesn't matter. Uh, we run into the same stuff because the door is still like eight inches off of the deck. The, the yeah, everyone's leaning down the, the same length distance. Of your shovel. Yeah. So really, the answer would be to fire with like one of the shovels that the Brits use, just these little itty bitty things. Um, in that case, but it... then you don't make steam. In that case, it might even be worse for me because I'm fucking wide. Oh, so interesting question here. Gilly the Mist 5. Could Stevens and Valve Gear be considered a mechanical two-way continuously variable transmission? No? No. No, because it's, it's not a transmission. It's not a transmission in any way, shape, or form. But yes, I mean, what it achieves is similar to the results of that, but but no. Yeah. Oh, did I did I make a language oopsie? Could you take it take it one further. Could you consider a steam locomotive a continuous two way transmission, or a steam engine rather? Court Fred, welcome to the fireman. Thank you. Now, so you can't break the economy, but you can say hello. The hellos hello, are much appreciated. Thank you. Hello, hello. All right, well we got the challenger, and uh, we're highballing through the yard right now, and we are hauling a hundred. Reefers with a caboose. Which Third is. Big Boyd, which train simulator is this? I want to get just for the museum map. It's Train Simulator Classic. Oh, good God, I've just murdered the fire. Do I not have. The auto fireman is trying to catch up. <laughs> just open the valve, bruh. And they don't you need a gear ratio for it to be a transmission? Not necessarily, because you have things like fluid transmissions. That is true. Yeah, these are rapidly sounding like mechanical engineering conversations and not concrete. I'm, and I'm here for it. I mean, we're, we're all kind of here for it. I don't know if I'd consider the steam locomotive itself a transmission, though. I don't know. It's It would be one of those, like, you're really stretching the, and we're not doing the cube rule of food, but it's a little bit like that <laughs> argument. <laughs> Which yeah, you're late, chuckling, late, we're not late, doing this. Cease. Everything is toast. Not everything is toast. No, it does no, not, we're, no, we're not starting this with you three idiots in this YouTube channel right now. <laughs> I need to yell at my fireman for making the fire disappear. He is, st he is, the auto fireman does not even begin to comprehend what's going on. All right. So we're just going to, we're just going to turn the jets up all the way. We're hey, going to open the road channel says he sympathizes with light. <laughs> Who says that? Bandon's Railroad Channel. And question mark the platypus, which I can only read as the platypus? Have you done a video about injectors yet? I haven't. It's on the list. I have so many, like, hardcore tech topics to cover that are on my list that I've just not gotten to yet, and that's on it. Injectors are one of those things that's kind of easy to explain, but it's very difficult to explain without using certain concepts that are kind of tricky. Yeah. There are so many people in the chat right now that are trying to lure me and lure Jake and I into this conversation on the cube rule of food, and it's hurting oh, me. Please We're, don't. I'm not, I'm not dumb enough to get into a proof argument with an applied mathematics person. <laughs> Here, mathematics, thank you. The, Octopat sorry. 1258, thank I think... You. I think you should be able to buy a new home soon. I, I appreciate that, but unfortunately, Colorado's real estate market is a disaster. So uh, hopefully sometime, but uh, it will probably not be soon. Thade, you see, Heist, if you just had more Uinta Locos, this wouldn't be a problem of this incline. Wondering how to get your Discord role. Wasn't in Discord before joining the membership. Just make sure that your uh, YouTube account is linked to your Discord account in Discord, and that will set up your membership automatically. Yeah, we we physically can't even assign the roles if we wanted to. That's managed by by a web application on Discord. And sits there is a non-zero, aka one hundred percent chance we'll have a new future foamer in the world in the next two weeks. Wish us luck. It's time to pass the torch, dude. Seriously, 
Congratulations. I can't even imagine. Man. I can't even imagine what that feels like and how that must be to be in that position. So congrats and good luck, mate. Congrats. Two words. Tiny overalls. Yes. Tiny overalls. And a little hat. Yes. Uh, Chris LaRose, who I'm going to be talking about on the channel relatively soon, makes little engineer's hats. Just saying. Does he make little itty bitty ones? He is. He made a, a run of ten for cats oh. and for babies previously, so he can <laughs> he can do them. Well, specifically for cats and babies. I love that. Okay, I guess I know what I'm getting my goddaughter. How do you size a hat for a child like that, or do you like? Well, I think it's about the size of a cantaloupe. Yeah, well, yeah I guess you probably still measure their head, and I mean, it's like it's a just a measurement. Like you measure a yeah. head. A head is a head. Just get a really big set of calipers. That one Caledonian 812 says, I miss Dirt the Cat still. Can we get some Fs in chat and a moment of silence? Fs in chat. Fs in chats and moment of silence for Dirt, for sure. From everyone. I'm going to the caboose so we don't listen to the engine. Dusty asks on... Um... We're, having, we're having a moment of silence for Dirt. Oh, sorry. Okay, that, that was vaguely a moment. Sorry, go ahead, Brett. That was, that was amazing. Sorry, that's my bad. I was uh, different. I took off my headset for a second. Um, Duster asks if you have, like, a PayPal or a Patreon or something, because somebody was saying something about rather not donating through YouTube specifically. I don't have anything set up yet um, on those fronts. I should, because YouTube does take a decent cut. Um, I don't have anything else set up for that yet, so... Um, I do have my, my PayPal, but it's not associated with my channel address. It's associated with my personal address, and that's a yeah. <laughs> whole can of worms, unfortunately. So um, soon I will, I will get that figured out. So <laughs> We're now getting alt F4s in the chat for dirt. We've got an F7 in the chat for dirt. And Mickley says I could be the middleman for PayPal, and for legal reasons, this is a joke. Well, I mean, if they PayPal him enough, he could just they, that could just cover his wages for uh, editing the Rarits Online videos. <laughs> Ashley has appeared and says, "Yay, a high stream." That is not the hey. Ashley Taylor that yes. you think it is. That is an Ashley Taylor that I think lives in Australia, if I'm recalling. That is not the Ashley Taylor that we know. So we've got an There's Ashley Taylor. Ashley we've got a Taylor. Mike Ramsey. Yes, it's very confusing. All of these characters that we know, but we don't. But they're not uh, they're not these characters that we know. Heist, please be on the next San Juan Branch Line episode. Uh, I mean, I'm, it's not up to me. That would be fun, but uh, it's not up to me. I would be happy to voice act for that if, if uh, the creators so desire. I've spoken with them, so we're, we're friends, so it could very, very well be a thing, but uh, we've not been chatting about that. Spagel, we're not going to build Zuma out of Home Depot supplies. That's that's shit no. John Ramash would do, and we're not going to do that. No. Because we're engineers. That is what if, low. That is a what low if we form build, of bullshit right there. What if we yeah. build Stimpy out of Home Depot supplies? Stimpy <laughs> being built out of Home Depot supplies that's would be fine. That's too good for Stimpy. That might be too good for Stimpy. Yeah. Brett, did you ever get to see the glory that was Stimpy? I, I have seen the glory that is Stimpy. I never got to see the dupe, but I, I have seen many photos of Stimpy, I don't including think the, Stimpy upside down. I don't think the Great dupe tell. ever existed, honestly, unfortunately. Oh. Great tell, what is Stimpy? Stimpy was a very, very bad model in Gary's Mod that I tried to make of a locomotive, and it just ended up looking like just absolute garbage. It was the most disgusting-looking, like, Wagon Top 440. Yeah. Yeah, it was bad. It was real bad. Gotta do some Gary's Mod stuff at some point. I was we just do. about to say, like, ridiculous Gary's Mod trains. We were talking like, earlier, or I, I say we were talking, I mentioned the idea earlier of, rather than doing caboose races in RO, do a, okay, build a railroad racing object, air quotes, and then we'll race them in Gary's Mod. 
Yeah, I think that would be hilariously fun. We need to do a Gary's Mod video about your Gary's Mod trains, Brett. And we also need to do a video about your Lego I, trains. So I don't well, have what if, my Gary's wait, Mod trains wait, wait, anymore wait. because the dupes are all broken. It's been so long. That is what sad. if we do like what if we do a con style like noob versus pro thing where like Oh god. The three, we could, the we three could of do us that. try to build Gary's Mod trains and then Brett blows us out of the water because he actually knows how to do it. I mean once you learn the precision alignment tool, which is very, very basic algebra, it becomes rather easy. You say that. You say I, that, I but I know that. how to use precision I alignment. And I, have produced, I know how to use precision alignment, and I have produced some significant piles of crap. Well, you know, I do say that because I'm not very intelligent, and yet, you know, we've managed anyway. <laughs> Oh man! Well, we missed a couple Challen super I know, but the challenger is stalling. I'm very engaged in this at the moment. Let's see, we've got Rescue Greyhounds asks: So, are steam locomotives single or double expansion engines due to how steam works? It they depends. Would be, yeah, it would depend on the locomotive. Yeah. Most are going to be single expansion engines. In railroad oh. terminology, a double expansion engine would be called a compound. Yeah. And now, some compounds is... are more cursed than others. This yes. is true. But very few now, of them are common. Like cross compounds are the most disgusting thing I can conceive of. And they're Unless everywhere. it's an air compressor. Are you giving it more kibble? I'm giving it all of the kibble. You can see how rapid fire the kibble is at the moment. <laughs> And we've cut off a number of cars. Th this curve apparently is the killer curve, because even the Challenger with like 20 cars is like, no. TrueNub Gaming asks, looking at driving the old roadbed for the RGS, any place you'd recommend looking at along the way? Can I remember names of the RGS? Let's see. There is a I trestle mean... at the top of the loop. Is it Ofer Loop? Oh, is it the one that was in uh, Ballad of Buster Scruggs? Maybe. There is there is a trestle that is the Ofer Loop. There's not a ton left of it, but there is a trail leading up the hill from Vance Junction. The coal trestle is still there. Is that Vance, or am I about to get That's angry Vance, texts yeah. from Jeff? I think it's Vance Junction. You go up the grade. Um, the coal trestle's there. There's a bike trail that uh, follows the track. There's still ties in place. And then at the top of the loop, one of the trestles is still there, which its name escapes me. All right, we missed uh, missed a couple things in chat, so I'm gonna try and catch up on those real quick while not listening to the safety blow off. G's man upgraded to ESD engineer. Thank you so much. That's awesome. We always love getting more engineers. Make sure you join the Discord if you're an engineer. Uh, there's a really good community up that way, so make sure you do that. Havoc, what do I think of Aussie Steam stock? I don't know much about Aussie Steam, but the bits I've seen have been pretty cool. And the 3801, which is, you know, the famous one, uh, it is a really neat piece of engineering. So I think it's pretty cool stuff. <laughs> to very Big Boy, built Home Depot tough. No, <laughs> Home Depot and Ford theme song play at the same time. Yes, but also no. <laughs> Nathan Dub, basic algebra, without a calculator, my one weakness. Too real. Uh, and too real. Spagel, Spagel. Brett, please give the community Lego MOC instructions on 346 because it looks amazing. Yeah, Brett, you're going to get a lot of that uh, when we do yeah. a, a video about your Lego stuff because all your Lego stuff is amazing. Well, thank you. My 346 is not. I don't have instructions for it available publicly, but I do actually have instructions for a lot of other stuff on Bitcoin. Like, do a quick search of K36 on Bitcoin or my K28 is also up there. Somebody, is it Dark Rider or Dark? Yeah, Dark Rider has built my K27 in real life, and I think he he improved the design somewhat because Legos, you don't really know how well the design works until you actually build it in real life, but you know. Yeah, we got some speed now that we've made it past that damn turn. I, I can't get more water in the damn thing though. This is why the, the 20 has the glass on top of the boiler, so you can fit even more water. Yeah.
Water gauge clog. Yeah, that, that's a thing that happens, and then you have to bob the glasses to to feel the immersion here. Oh, it's apparently Trout Creek Trestle. I wanted to say Snake Creek Trestle, but it's like, no, that's on the, the SLDS. Also, that just sounds nasty. It does sound <laughs> nasty. It's the middle of the desert. But it's before the low for, the Ofer Loop area. I thought that was, like, right at the top of everything, kind of just down from Lizard Head. There's still the grade of the Y at Lizard Head as well. The very big boy says, I need you to answer. Should I give my dog some chips? No. I mean, probably not. Oh, oh don't so give doggo chips. That's not I just thought food. of this. When are we going to take, like, a two-week camping trip at Lizard Head in celebration of the shenanigans that happened there? Not in the winter, please. Yeah, I'd rather not. Yeah, if we but, can avoid that. But immersion, though. How else are we going to get the actual stuck-in-the-snow experience? If somebody Come could work, tell me how the live of polar. Yeah, if we can somebody, drive by 70. If somebody could tell me how the live steam injector works on this darn thing, I would appreciate it. Because I remember the priming being in a really obnoxious place, but... Oh, it's sounding like it's finally picked up. Hang on. Oh, yeah, I think I... It's making the, the, the sound. I think I finally got it to pick up. You get a link for the LEGO K28 and K36. I couldn't figure out how to link it. Just go on Bricklink Studio and look up K36. Trunub Gaming, upgrading to an ESD Fireman, thank you. More will be coming for the Fireman. I need to, uh, I'm behind on everything, so. There is music, uh, it's just the, the, the game's very loud, so. <clears throat> MD Train says, Heist, if you think the Colorado's housing market is bad, you should see Oregon's. Q comment about Washington in three, two, one. Yeah, I one. was going to say, like, Oregon's is, is nothing compared to Washington, so. Mainline says the depot at Telluride is still there as well, as well as some of the grade to Telluride. Um, there's also a water tower we're at. Is it at Lizard Head where the water tower is still there? I think it is. I think so, yeah. There, there's a water tower that is... They turned the track into the road so you can just park your car under the water tower and pretend to take water in your pickup truck or whatever. That's kind of hilarious. I, that is not a meme I have done myself, but I recall a picture from uh, Jeff of doing something similar to that. All right, guys, this is this is the fun view right now with this. Yeah, that is the fun view. <laughs> just, just, Indeed. just look at looking up ahead with a Challenger, and and you get the normal steam engine view of just running board boiler, and then things off to the right side, but then you get into a curve, and then oh look, look, there's engine, there's there's running gear. I shouldn't be able to see that. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's probably fine. Oh, so back to the multiple expansion thing. I just thought of this. Was there ever in the history of ever, like, a triple expansion steam locomotive? I'm sure there was. Like, was what? anyone ever stupid enough to do that? What about the, tri the Erie Triplex? Was it a triple... I mean, I no, know that was something. simple no. is the problem. Yeah, that that was simple, so it just it just ate its hungry. steam. Right. Well, I figured it would be some flavor of compound. It would still eat itself in steam. Dusty, and I can only assume Jeff is confirming Trout Lake is where the water tower still is. Yep, we have Mr. Which... RGS41 just in chat. Water Tower in Rico oh. and East Memphis and Trout Lake. Thank you, Jeff. CPR 8000 was a triple expansion, I believe. Let me look this up. CPR 8000? Let's look this up. <laughs> we're, still, we're still running low on water. Oh, Jesus, it's this. The, the problem oh is God. not the, uh, the oh, running goodness. of the challenger this on this alignment. Nice. The problem is the water. Okay, just saying, whenever you Google a steam locomotive and the first URL you see is douglish-self.com, you know it's going to be good. I don't even know what I'm looking at, but it's freaking cursed. Is this a water tube boiler? Is that what we're looking at? Probably. Or is this just a really oh, big F-off combustion chamber? I don't know. It was a three-cylinder compound engine, so presumably 
yeah, just still just dual. It used it, the it says the Schmidt high pressure system used was a closed circuit of steam and distilled water, working at 1,350 psi, transferring heat to a high pressure boiler at 850 psi pressure to supply the center cylinder. The exhaust steam from this was mixed with. 250 psi pressure steam from the low pressure boiler to feed the two outside cylinders. Locomotive was built by the Angus Shops in 31. It was the CPR's heaviest locomotive. It operated on the Mountain Division from 31 to 36, but was scrapped in 40. Huh. Huh. Well, that is see? that is a man bear pig of an attempt at engineering efficiency, and I'm not nice. mad about it. Mike Ramsey apparently Googled himself and figured out who the Mike Ramsey we know is. Oh, good. That's funny. <laughs> um, I'm about to die in this curve, apparently, but I've got some chats to catch up on. Kevin McTaggart, why don't memberships tra transfer to my other account? <laughs> Silly YouTube. It can be a challenge sometimes. Ender Dragon 8551, welcome to the ESD Engineer is another one. And then I see Gilly in the Mist 15 saying, Do you happen to watch Blondie Hacks? She just started building a 1 to 16, 4 and 3 quarter gauge Pennsylvania A3 switcher from scratch, and the video is the whole thing. Yes, I've seen her start of that series, and her channel's great. It's going to be exciting to see what she does with it. She's a much better machinist than I, so uh, yeah. I'm planning on ripping off as much uh, tips and tricks I, as I can from her. So, Yeah, I've been watching her stuff. I watched that series on her building the air quotes, large steam engine, stationary engine, and the quality of her work was just, like, incredible. She's very um, good, yeah. Yeah. For somebody who says she's not a great machinist, she's doing some pretty great machining. Yeah, That's something, real. though, I've found to be true of all great machinists. Pretty much every machinist that is genuinely good will say of themselves that they are not a great machinist. That is very true. If they're humble about their work, they're probably pretty good. If they're willing to tell you that they're a badass machinist, they're probably garbage. Mm. Or they've got an ego problem, in which case, uh, well, those people exist. Smokestack too. on a lathe. Hmm? What? Uh, Smokestack on a lathe. Eh, it's fine. <laughs> Chris Kelling, you say you think the Allegheny was triple expansion. I think you're talking about, like, the Erie or Virginian triplexes. Yeah, and the those... Alleghenies didn't have three engines. Yeah. yeah. It was um, a 2666, but it was 266 powered, and then it was a six-axle trail truck under the firebox. Indeed. Um, but even then, the triplexes were simple, and that was part of the problem. They just they ate so much steam that you couldn't keep the evap rate up. Were the... Were the triplexes simple, or were they at least compound? They weren't triple compound, but... Uh, I, I'm pretty sure they were just straight simple. Let me Google it. Um, yeah, you're right. The cylinders all look about the same size. True Nub Gaming, appreciate the information. No, Keep up the, the good work, one. Heiss. I've learned more about the RGS since I've started following you, so I blame you for my madness. Well... <laughs> Uh, I, you can blame me for the start of your madness, but uh, I'm not the historian. I'm not good at the history piece of this stuff. There are several people who I'm talking to in this voice call and several others who are watching this stream uh, who are the real RGS madmen. So if you have RGS questions, I mean, uh, there are definitely people who can make those answers happen better than I could ever have. But I'm glad I helped inspire your madness. Jared. This is madness. Jared, your family used to run the oh. DNR GWK 36489. They filled up with water by the family cabins. That's awesome. 489 is a good choo choo. Those. Rescues oh. Greyhounds. For the longest time, you thought you were playing a song about Kenosha, Wisconsin. No. We're talking about K Kenosha on this, uh, this railroad, but not this alignment. Well, we'll be doing a video about the, the story behind Smells Like Kenosha soon enough at some point. I haven't given up yet. We're still doing a mile an hour with the Challenger at the moment. It's, uh, it is slowing, though. We will hey, get to Blackhawk eventually. Car too. Carmen so, Baylines, fact... think you're going to look at the railroad's line save you sent on Discord DM. Mate, I, I wish I get sent so many saves and s with so many DMs and so many people want me to take a look at their railroads and it's like I just do not have the time right now. Um, I've been feeling it's not overwhelmed. Like you, have a, you know, a job or anything. I've been feeling overwhelmed the time, like the, the amount of stuff that goes into the YouTube on top of the museum, like it is 
really genuinely challenging for me right now. Um, and my calendar has been cleared by no longer being in a relationship with someone. Uh, so it's like, it should be more time, but no, the, the time is still just gone. So uh, hopefully maybe sometime, but I really can't promise to you, mate. I'm sorry. Jeez, man, you were on a railroad, uh, railroad trip in Colorado, June 2022. You like to publicly state you took a leak on the Continental Divide, which ever uh, NG grade passes over it. Half went to the Pacific Ocean and half went to the Atlantic Ocean, pro probably. That is uh, that is a, a token of... Uh, that's that, that's a good a good factoid for you, friend. It's very good. <laughs> Can't say as I haven't done that myself, so... Yeah, I mean, you know, things. Rescues Greyhound, thank you. Dark Flame Gaming, how much for the save with Khan? Even I don't have it, so... I, I wouldn't put a price on it yet. We're going to stall out, I think, and try and build <laughs> some steam. Stock. We're, we're going to build some steam. going to shut the throttle. The Independent's holding it, so that's yeah. exciting. Good. How, ma how many cars of beverages are we now hauling? Still 20? Uh, I don't know actually how many it is. Someone do the math. While we build up steam, Big here's an interesting fact about the uh, Erie triplexes. Apparently, they were compound. Okay, uh, what flavor? So, all of the cylinders were the same size. The deal was the left-hand cylinder exhausted to the front set of cylinders. Or rather, let me explain. The, uh, the center set of cylinders got high-pressure steam directly from the boiler. The left center cylinder exhausted to the front set of cylinders, both of them, the right high pressure cylinder exhausted to the rear set of low pressure cylinders. Oh, that's idiotic. I yeah. can't yeah. see my face on the desk right now. What? Yeah. Still doesn't here's, count as a triple expansion, though. Here's mine. I had no clue that thing was a compound, and the fact that they're splitting <laughs> one piston to feed it. And they still had steaming problems? In fairness, it was from that time when they had started making big engines but hadn't really figured out how to make big engines yet. That is true. Like, was it, was it a soak, Jake? What do you mean, was it a soak? Uh, was, was it, it superheated? No superheat. Uh, let me... Because it was, what, the teens when that happened, yeah? I think so. Between Big 1914 Johnson's. and 1916, I can't imagine it was superheated. Yeah, so there's part of your problem. Biggie John says, I don't know much about railroading, but I've learned a lot watching your videos. You guys are always entertaining. Well, thank you. I'm glad. Thank you. And don't you know the, the morons tried to draw plans for, like, quadruplexes and quintuplexes? And the French did it? <laughs> as, as everyone reminds me continuously. This très grand the locomotive. Uh, Sky the S1B. There was never a 4 10, 10 4 but there definitely was a 2 10, 10 2 and it was as stupid as it sounds. Yeah, the Santa Fe. Is that the one that like, had the flexible boiler? I was I was hoping that Jimmy was going to give us, and, and I never probably picked his cards, I was hoping that Jimmy was going to give us some Santa Fe crap to riff on yesterday. Still might be a chance. I think we need to have Jimmy back. I think we might need to have Jimmy back, too. Yeah. 2-10-10-2, the only locomotive so stupid it literally underwent fission. This thing's going to take a minute to come up to pressure. I'm going to be right back again, so you have the floor again, folks. Yeah. And, uh, Jimmy says no Smagel. such luck. Bagel Spagel points out that there are a fact a few DNRGW bridges between the Ridgeway Reservoir and uh, Ridgeway, as you can still see the ballast pass on the highway. That is true, because the... Oh, the uh, standard gauge branch, the branch to Ure was abandoned in like the 50s, but when they standard gauged the, the line to Ridgeway, that kept going until like 72 or 73, and the only reason they got rid of that, like the final nail in the coffin for that was the building of the reservoir. So the right is all pretty much there. They standard gauged and... the branch from Montrose to Ridgeway? Yeah. Why? Because there was still stuff to get out of there. What? What no. was there to get out of there? There's nothing in Ridgeway. I I don't know. I think there was like a lumber Oats? yard or something there. I was I gonna know. say here's the here's the joke. The only thing in Ridgeway is sheep. 
Yeah, and goats. Um, but no, Mondra, I mean, up until like the 70s or 80s, Mondra still had a fair amount of railroad stuff going on to it. You know, there's a, there used to be a C's candy factory in Montrose, and with a rail branch going, with a spur going into the building. So I've seen pictures of Jeep 30s just coming out of a candy factory. Mm, chocolate. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've gotten to explore um, uh, some of the the what's left of the railroad ridgeway. I mean, or in uh, Montrose, I should say, a lot of grade crossings are paved over, but. Um, there's still a amount of stuff there, and every now and then you can look down and go, Oh, look, this tie has another set of holes in it. Hmm, I wonder what that's for. And you can see, like, you know, the stubs of rail, or the little bases of rail they put into switches to get rid of the extra frogs for the narrow gauge and stuff, so it's pretty neat. I never knew that they standard gauge that branch. That is, uh, that is surprising. Yeah. I need to get my butt to Colorado at some point. You do. There's I recommend it. Yes, you do, and look, I'm still only up to 255 PSI. According to Jimmy, there was Denver and New Orleans stuff in the cards we didn't get to. Ooh. Jimmy's out here with the polywog knowledge. You like the polywog knowledge. The woofer dunks? Those too. Woofer dunk, woofer dunk, woofer dunk. Spoilers, spoilers. Spoilers indeed. Jimmy really chocolate, yeah. I wish there was more left of the DNNO, Jimmy. I mean, you could ride the E-Line, and you could ride on the DNNO. That's just depressing. <laughs> Is that because it's not the DNNO anymore, or because you're riding RTD? Yes. <laughs> this is the Arvada Ridge Station. Fire door being Ridge closed Station. does not make a darn bit of difference on the couch. And you know it's the Arvada Ridge Station, Brett, because it's the first one you get to ten minutes after you left Ward Road. Uh, Ashley Taylor says, speed and power, beans, 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 beans. We'll try it. We got about 270 PSI, so we're going to try that. Got it open wide. It is starting. And it's going the wrong direction. <laughs> At Heiss or others, what do you know about the DSPNP Ohio Pass Line? Critical damage Ohio caused pass. by too much condensation in the cylinders from sitting that long? Welcome to train sim bullshit, everyone. Oh, come on. Uh, the we Ohio sat there for, what, line. 10 minutes? If that. Yeah. Uh, but to answer this guy's question, the Ohio Pass Line, I've been over that many, many times. I've fished in that area, too. Um, it's a Which really cool Ohio? piece of uh, that's the one going, um, that was going to go to Crested Butte around the back way. The one that comes down through St. Elmo? No, 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 uh, from Gunnison. Oh, so, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, the one that yeah, isn't, yeah. Okay, yeah. The one that never really got built. Yeah, okay, but sure. But you can drive on the grade. Yeah. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Actually, on that pass is the only time I've ever seen a bear in the wild in, well, seen a bear like in the woods in Colorado. I've seen ones in front of our house. Did it shit in the woods? I don't know. I can't tell you no, if it was a Catholic either. It's the Pope. You gotta be worried about shit in the oh, woods. Oh, the Pope shits in the woods. That's you gotta, right. You gotta know if the bear is a Catholic or not. Oh. Uh, did he have the little hat on? <laughs> yes. It's a stupid hat. It doesn't cab matter. forward for added curse factor. No, we can try it. We can do cab forward on this. I can I could cancel do... onto this. Yeah. Give us cab forward headed downhill from Blackhawk. Why not? Let's let's just yeet this thing down the canyon, and then I should probably get to bed for work tomorrow. Too. I don't know about you, gents. Sounds smart. Triple header time. Thomas Perry's head to bed. Good night. Oh, have we ever heard of the Lombard Steam Log Hauler? Those things are so cool. I want to see one in those person. Are, those are neat and incredibly stupid. And also slightly terrifying. Little bit. And to answer Mr. Steinkopf, RGS-20 was not, and nor has ever been, a wood burner. Nope. He Heavy Tanker 1945, my GTO is just a GTO. They did not offer the judge until 1969. 
and my car is a 1968, nice. and good god. But... <laughs> the cab forward air compressor thing. The la the laser laser sights. And we've got we've got uh, forty box cars behind us that are just doing the doing the, the the snake. Full sun. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, Bryson uh, Grondin says that he broke his dad's power steering pub climbing Tin Cup Pass, and I just have to say, as somebody who's driven over that pass, ow. Ow, that just sounds painful, going through boulder fields without power steering. Screw that. Yeah. I'm blowing the whistle, but I failed to see where the whistle linkage actually is. Um, behind you? Is it a pedal? Is it a pedal? That's what the Japanese did. Oh! It's a lever. <laughs> what? I'm not mad about that, but I'm also very confused by it. Steamton asks, have Brett Layton or Heist played Railway Empire? He's been playing it and enjoying it lately. I have not. Have either of you? I have played a little bit of Railway Empire. Not much, though. Is that the I one haven't... with the giant 318? No, that's Railroad Corporation. Okay. Yeah. I, I haven't played it, but I have had it. Well. Yeah. What, what have... in the name of all that's holy are the air brakes doing? Are you... The what? Oh, we're still releasing... Okay, despite being it's a lot of train. released for... Okay. Well, I'll train sim. Okay. It's a lot of train. We're, oh, we're up to 342 likes. We're almost up to a grandma number of likes. We're four away from grandma likes. These chuffs are... Not even grandma chuffs. It's fine. Jeff says it's a valve. Cab Ford's only had a valve with no quill, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, that's whack. <laughs> Another reason to not restore the 4294 and run it on the mainline? No, it's that's so not pretty. a valid reason not to do that. <laughs> I can't quill an SP6 and you're gonna, like, really, really late and you're gonna hurt me that way? I'm saying that I cannot think of any reason why the 4294 should not run that could not be overcome with enough money well that's true for literally every locomotive on the planet asshole yeah i mean they think it, it's cosmetically restored they could have it up and running in three hours well duh mango anyone, gobbles. Anyone could have told yeah mango that. gobbles yeah mango gobbles yeah i hear there's this guy out there who just pulls boilers out of swamps and makes them run so i bet he could do it i'm not Isn't sure who that jail is scared from subway <laughs> No, Isn't that the same guy, guy. That, that cocked a boiler under pressure? Uh, something like that. Something, Sorry. something dark side like that. Come at me, bro. Jonathan Coleman oh. asks um, if he should grow a mullet in real life. I, I think, Mark, you're on the train of everybody should have a mullet. I mean, I, I'm not going to argue against mullets. <laughs> I think like everyone should have a mullet. I shouldn't have a mullet. Matt from the museum says, Restore it and run it on the main line. Restore it and run it on the main do line. Do they have this thing simulated 26L? Yes, they do. Yes, they really do. <laughs> they really? Huh. Did, did, they have, did they have 26? This is modeled like 14, maybe. Heavy Tanker 1945. If I just had, like, fuck you money to just throw at trains, I would probably restore the 2156 and the 1218 and make them run together. Mango, God bless. Paspsha uh, donates $5. Says the compressor on that sounds like a bunch of baby alligators, which is odd, but not inaccurate. Yeah. Right. You're not wrong. Also, is the throttle in your face. It really is. So throttle on the ceiling is throttle inside your head, really. Ergonomics was maybe not these engine strong suits. These tight corners and the big panoramic view out front with oh. the slightly rounded cab front. All I can think of is it looks like a streetcar, and we're dead. Yeah, it. Uh, Look, I'm j I'm just saying you either get a comfortable no cab way. or you don't get suffocated. You, 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 get, you only get to pick one. That's what your bucket of wet rags is for. 
Yeah, dude. Come on. Oi. Well, that's gone poorly, but I think that's the end of that. <laughs> I think that's a good place to wrap it. Yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. This is fun. Go check out Midland's version of the Colorado Railroad Museum on Train Simulator. It's on Steam Workshop. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much to the three quarters of an idiot podcast crew, plus Jake, for joining us. And uh, it's been a lot of fun, so we'll catch you all next time. Bye. Bye. Later.